Hi guys, this is Felicia with Faith, Family, and Food, and today we are going to make a delicious turkey. Look at that beautiful turkey. Mm. But before we get started, let me remind you to please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be updated on future videos. We would really appreciate it and it really helps out the channel. Thanks so much. Now back to this turkey. If you want to make a delicious, moist, succulent, show-stopping turkey like this, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to start with a turkey. This is a 14 pound turkey. We've already washed it and took out all of the um, insides. And here's our seasonings. We're using Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, the um, some sea salt, some injectable butter from Tony Sachery's, and an injectable marinade and some olive oil. We also are gonna stuff our turkey with some uh, vegetables and herbs that we had. We had celery, we had some onion, some garlic, and some apple and grapefruit now you can this is um this is very uh this can be to whatever you like so look in your refrigerator see what you have citrusy fr fruits work well um if, uh, onions garlic fresh herbs a lot of those things work very well so choose what you have and make it work all right, so we are chopping up our ingredients here. We have onions, we have our celery and apple. We're chopping everything up so everything can fit inside this turkey. It doesn't have to be cut up perfectly, but you wanna make sure that everything will fit. So you want it in nice sized pieces and all of these different flavors are gonna cook down together and bring additional flavor to our turkey and if you notice these are not my hands these are the hands of my husband at work for me making me this delicious turkey All right, now that we have all of our veg fruits and veggies chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and start on the turkey. So first he wants, he rubbed the turkey down with some olive oil and that's gonna help the skin of the turkey to brown as it cooks. So we're gonna, and we're also drying the turkey at the same time. So he's putting the paper towels in there to dry out that turkey. So we lather it up nice and rub it all down, you know, get it all smooth with that olive oil so that skin can be nice and conditioned and the seasoning will stick. So now he put some of that Tony Sachery seasoning all on the inside of that turkey. Now for our injectable marinade. Now this was about half a bottle of marinade. So we just put the in, um, injector inside the bottle. But if you are going to use a brand new bottle, you might want to pour what you're going to use out into a bowl so you don't contaminate your bottle. Now when you are injecting the marinade, you want to make one hole and put it and turn it in multiple spots to get all that marinade into one hole. You don't wanna to make too many holes because you don't want your turkey to be leaking all its good juices. 
So you want to go into all the fatty parts of the meat. And um, don't forget those wings. So you want to get the breast really good. You want to get the wings, the legs, the thighs. You want to get all the parts of that turkey and inject that marinade and make sure you get it in multiple spots so the marinade can infuse throughout that turkey. This will help the turkey remain moist during cooking time and it will bring plenty of flavor. Now we have been using this um, Tony Sachery's injectable marinade in our turkeys and our chickens for a while and they are and uh, the, the marinade this particular one because we haven't used any one but the butter one but this particular one is delicious. Now we're going to take all of our veggies and all of our herbs. We have a bundle of herbs here. We're going to take all of that and uh, stuff it into the turkey. So we have some thyme, some rosemary, some sage. We're going to stuff all that in there. And like I said before, this is going to bring some great flavor. All right, once everything is uh, injected and all the herbs and the fruits and veggies are put inside the turkey, we're gonna wipe the turkey down one more time with some olive oil. First, we made sure it was dry, and then we wiped it down with some olive oil. And we put it on a, a rack so it does, doesn't sit in its own juices. So we put it on a rack and uh, put it and, and rubbed it down with olive oil and now he's putting some salt on the skin. Now the Tony Sachery seasoning is really good on the skin. However, at the temperature that we're gonna be cooking the turkey at, it will burn. So that's why we're just putting salt on the skin. Now we're gonna cover up the turkey, but we're gonna cover the wings. So they don't burn. And now we're going to take a piece of foil and cover the top of the turkey. Because we want this turkey to cook at a high temperature, but we do not want it to burn. So the turkey will go in the oven at 450 degrees for 45 minutes. And look at that. It's not quite done because as you can see, it is rather light. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and remove the foil from the top of the turkey so it can get some browning. And we place the turkey back in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. Here's the finished product, guys. It looks delicious brown all over. Now for a recap, we cook this turkey, it's a 14 pound turkey, so it depends on the poundage of your turkey, but we cooked it at 450 degrees for 45 minutes, took it out, took the foil off, cooked it for an additional hour at 350 degrees. And this is what we came out with. Beautiful. Now it's time for the turkey to rest. Tint it with foil and let it rest for at least 20 minutes. This will give time for the juices to settle so they don't all run out when you cut the turkey. And there you have it guys, a perfect turkey ready for whatever meal you have planned for it. Now it's time for the taste. Now we're cutting into this turkey and as you can see, it is still piping hot. So don't worry about it cooling down. That is a lot of meat. Now my husband is tasting it right here. And as you can see, he is enjoying himself banging on the table. 
this turkey was a winner. Even two, three days after the cook, it was still moist and juicy. And me personally, on this particular turkey, I was preferring the breast because it was so good and juicy. I'm not even sure that this video is giving it justice of how juicy it was. Look at how juicy and tender and moist this turkey, guys, you have to try it. You have to try this delicious turkey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you try it, please let us know. And if you tried any other seasonings or stuffings or anything, just let us know because we might want to try it too. There it is, guys. A nice, delicious turkey. Guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. God bless.